Welcome back. Get ready to dive into the world of tech with MA Tech. Bringing you the latest updates, reviews, and insights in just a few seconds. With iOS 18, Siri is set to receive significant upgrades, leveraging the new generative AI technology. The improved version of Siri is designed to better understand user commands, efficiently handle follow-up tasks, and utilize the extensive data stored on your device for more personalized interactions. These advancements aim to make Siri more intuitive and effective, enhancing the overall user experience. However, there is a notable limitation for users in the UK and other regions. At launch, Siri's new AI features will only support American English. This could lead to some amusing and potentially inconvenient spelling variations, such as center instead of center or theater instead of theater. While this may not be a major issue for casual communication, it could be problematic for more formal tasks, like drafting cover letters or professional emails. In addition to these improvements, Apple CEO Tim Cook revealed that ChatGPT integration with Siri is expected by the end of the year. This integration promises to enhance Siri's capabilities further, providing users with a more robust and versatile digital assistant. Apple Intelligence is anticipated to debut in October following the release of iOS 18. This advanced AI feature will be available exclusively on the latest iPhones, including the iPhone 16 and iPhone 15 Pro, as well as select Macs and iPads that have the necessary processing power. According to Bloomberg's Mark Gurman, the rollout of Apple Intelligence has been postponed to October. This delay allows Apple additional time to address any bugs and refine the features. Consequently, iOS 18 and iPad OS 18 will be released in September without these new AI capabilities. The iPhone the 16th of May need a subsequent update to fully access Apple intelligence features after its initial release. In a departure from its usual practice, Apple has started offering software developers a preview of Apple intelligence through the iOS 18.1 beta, which was released in late July. Typically, Apple waits until after the public release of a major update to begin testing follow-up versions. This early access allows developers to explore and prepare for the upcoming AI features before their public launch. Regarding colors, rumors suggest that the Pro models may introduce a new rose color option. Meanwhile, the standard iPhone 16 models might replace the current yellow with a classic white, offering a fresh look for the lineup. Apple is likely to maintain its pragmatic approach to design evolution, focusing on slight iterations rather than revolutionary changes. This method allows for consistent improvements while preserving the core design elements that users are familiar with. The iPhone 16 Pro and Pro Max are set to impress with their larger displays. Rumors suggest that the iPhone 16 Pro will feature a 6.3-inch screen, a noticeable increase from the previous 6.1-inch size. Meanwhile, the iPhone 16 Pro Max is expected to come with a 6.9-inch display, expanding from its current 6.7-inch size. These upgrades will provide users with a more immersive viewing experience, perfect for everything from gaming to video streaming. Promotion technology, known for its smooth 120Hz refresh rate, will continue to be a standout feature for the iPhone Pro models. This technology, which enhances the responsiveness and fluidity of the screen, will remain exclusive to the iPhone 16 Pro and Pro Max until at least 2025. This means that the advanced refresh rate and improved touch sensitivity will not be available on other iPhone models, keeping the Pro lineup distinct and desirable for users who prioritize cutting-edge display technology. The iPhone 16 lineup is rumored to introduce a new action button across all models. This button, previously seen on the iPhone 15 Pro series, will replace the traditional mute switch. The action button is designed to offer greater functionality, allowing users to customize its use for various tasks, such as quick access to specific apps or settings. This change aims to enhance user convenience and streamline interactions with the device. In addition to the new action button, every iPhone 16 model is expected to feature a dedicated camera capture button, this addition will be a significant boon for photography enthusiasts, providing a more intuitive and immediate way to take photos. With this button, users can quickly snap pictures without needing to navigate through the touchscreen interface, making capturing moments even more effortless and spontaneous. 
The iPhone 16 Pro models are expected to receive a notable camera enhancement. Rumors suggest that the current 12 megapixels ultra-wide sensor will be upgraded to a 48 megapixels sensor. This substantial increase in megapixels is set to deliver significantly more detailed photos, enhancing image quality across various conditions. With this upgrade, users can anticipate improved performance in low-light scenarios, as well as better clarity and detail in wide-angle shots, making the iPhone 16 Pro a powerful tool for capturing stunning images. The iPhone 16 Pro models might inherit the Tetraprism lens technology, previously exclusive to the Pro Max. This advanced lens system is designed to enhance optical zoom capabilities, allowing for clearer and more detailed long-range photography. With the Tetraprism lens, users could achieve up to 5x optical zoom, making it easier to capture distant subjects with greater precision and quality. The iPhone 16 Pro Max is anticipated to receive a major upgrade to its main camera. Reports suggest that Sony may provide a new 48-megapixel sensor for this model, promising significant improvements in overall image quality. This new sensor is expected to enhance light capture, delivering better performance in various lighting conditions and offering a wider dynamic range. This upgrade will ensure that the iPhone 16 Pro Max remains at the forefront of mobile photography, delivering exceptional results for all your imaging needs. According to the rumored specifications for the iPhone 16 series, all models except the iPhone 16 Plus are set to receive a slight battery capacity increase. Battery capacity is measured in milliampere hours MA, which indicates the amount of electrical charge a battery can store. For the iPhone 16 Pro, the battery capacity could see a significant boost to 4747 milliamp hours. This upgrade is expected to result in up to 7% more battery life between charges, enhancing the device's longevity and allowing users to stay connected and productive for longer periods without needing frequent recharges. While the iPhone 16 Pro models are set to receive a battery capacity boost, the iPhone 16 Plus is reported to be the exception. It may have around 10% less battery capacity compared to its predecessor. However, this reduction might not significantly impact overall battery life, thanks to improvements in the new chip and power management technologies. Exciting advancements are also expected in charging technology for the iPhone 16 Pro models. Rumors suggest that these models will support faster wired charging speeds of up to 40W, an increase of 48.1% from the previous 27W. This enhancement will allow users to charge their devices more quickly, reducing downtime. MagSafe wireless charging is also getting an upgrade. The charging speed is expected to rise by 33%, from 15W to 20W. This improvement will make wireless charging more efficient, providing faster top-ups and enhancing the overall convenience of using MagSafe accessories. With the rumored increase in charging speeds for the iPhone 16 Pro models, users might see a reduction in charging times compared to the iPhone 15. Theoretically, the new 40W fast charging capability could cut approximately 10 minutes off the current charging speeds, which allow the iPhone 15 to reach 50% battery life in about 30 minutes with a 20W or higher power adapter. While these improvements suggest faster charging, the actual real-life benefits will depend on various factors and are yet to be confirmed. With the launch of iOS 18, all four iPhone 16 models are anticipated to be powered by the next-generation A18 chip. This new processor is expected to bring significant advancements in processing power. It's likely that there will be variations between Pro and non-Pro models, with the Pro versions offering enhanced performance for AI tasks and regular operations, providing a smoother and more efficient user experience. The A18 chip is also expected to enhance the iPhone 16's camera system through improved AI capabilities. This includes advanced image processing and better performance in low-light conditions, thanks to sophisticated AI algorithms. These upgrades are set to improve photo quality and overall camera functionality, making it easier to capture high-quality images in various lighting scenarios. Apple is set to introduce a range of new generative AI features with the release of iOS 18. These tools will leverage Apple's custom-designed chips and sophisticated machine learning models, trained on extensive datasets, to provide advanced capabilities in text and image generation.
With iOS 18, users will be able to use generative AI to transform their digital experience in several ways. Tone adjustment. Modify the tone of your emails based on your preferences, making communication more versatile and personalized. Custom emojis. Create unique emojis from text descriptions or photos stored in your gallery, adding a personal touch to your messages. Cartoonish images. Generate playful, cartoon-style images with just a few words, allowing for creative expression with minimal effort. Sketches to pictures. Convert sketches and notes into detailed pictures, turning rough ideas into polished visuals. These new features aim to enhance creativity and productivity, providing users with innovative tools to express themselves and manage their digital content more effectively. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more tech content. See you next time on MA Tech.